What is up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how I recently found a product that's doing over $25,000 a month with less than 100 reviews. Now I found this product by using a new feature inside of Helium 10. So I'm going to break down step by step how I found this potential product. So hopefully it could help you find that winning product to sell on Amazon. So we're going to get into my computer. But before we do, if you could just smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to stay updated with new videos just like this. All right, so like I said, I used a new feature inside of Helium 10, which they just released, and it has to do with Pinterest. Now, if you don't know what Pinterest is, it is basically a site where people post trending topics and products. So Helium 10 saw that there's a lot of new products popping up on Pinterest. So they made this tool to help you find those trending products that you could potentially sell on Amazon. So it's really easy to use. If you guys don't have Helium 10 and you want to check it out, I do have a discount code down below in the description. But here it is right here. It says what's trending on Pinterest and this is the new feature that they just released. So I'm going to show you guys how to use it and show you how I found this potential product. All right. So all you have to do is just click right here and it's basically like a slot machine. It's going to go through a bunch of random trending products. And if you don't like it, you just click it again and it's going to bring up the next trending topic. So I was doing that for a couple minutes and I came across this interesting keyword. It says farmhouse laundry room. So once I saw that keyword, I thought, okay, I like to sell in home decor. It seems like there could be a lot of potential products in that category. So all you have to do is go right here to open in Pinterest and it's going to pull it up in Pinterest and show you the trend on how many people are searching for this keyword on Pinterest. And right here we can see it's pretty much steady throughout the whole year. During the last couple of months though, it has been on the uptrend. Um, so again, it is farmhouse laundry room. So now to check if there are actually people looking for this product or keyword on Amazon, we are gonna run Helium 10's Chrome extension called the Demand Analyzer. And this is it right here. You could see Analyze Product Demand on Amazon. If you don't have Helium 10, this is a tool that comes with Helium 10. So we're gonna click on this and it's gonna pull up right here and then we hit See Analysis. So now it's gonna pull up a bunch of different keywords related to this main topic. And once it loads here, we will see all the data. All right, so we could see that farmhouse laundry room is only getting searched 800 times a month in the last 30 days. But if we come down here, we could see farmhouse laundry room decor, um, laundry room decor farmhouse style has 1,000, 1,600 searches. So I like this one, it has 5,100 searches, but I wanna pull it up on Amazon to see if there are actually people getting sales. So I'm gonna copy this phrase right here, and then I'm gonna to go to Amazon and paste it in. All right, so now that we got that keyword in here, it brings down all the products that are related to farmhouse laundry decor. And when I was scrolling through these different products, there's a couple cool products but this one really caught my eye. So it is a rustic farmhouse dryer sheet holder. You guys all know what those dryer sheets are, um, but basically it's a little container. They're selling it for $40. It probably costs a couple bucks to make, but we'll check on that. And all it is is a little tin to hold dryer sheets. So I'm gonna click right here and then see how much revenue they are actually making on Amazon. So for that, I'm gonna use Helium 10 X-Ray. If you don't know Helium 10, this is their Chrome extension. Right here, it's gonna pop up. They are doing $26,000 a month in revenue and they only have 72 reviews. Now, you would not wanna sell the same exact thing as them because they sell it in black and white and then white and black, but all it is is a tin for dryer sheets. So to see how much these things cost to manufacture, um, I went to Alibaba and I typed in farmhouse dryer sheet holder and here's pretty much that same exact one. You could get this printed on the front. You could change the text. Um, but if we click here, we could pull up the manufacturer and we could see that they're around three dollars and fifty five cents a piece. You could get them in different colors um, and then they do allow customized logos, custom packaging with a minimum order of five hundred units. So it's not that pricey and they are selling these things at $39.99. So just to check, let's see what their profit margin really is. So I'm gonna go back to Amazon. I'm gonna copy their ASIN number right here. And then I'm gonna pull up the Amazon FBA revenue calculator, which is a free tool. If you just Google it, I'm gonna hit search. And then I am gonna go right here and they are selling this thing at 39. Can't see my keyboard, 99. And then the cost of the product is $3.55 but that is without shipping. So let's say that each unit is gonna cost around $6 a piece. We're gonna hit calculate 
And we can see that that product is over a 50% profit margin. They're at a 55% profit margin before ad spend. So that is a large margin. Um, they are selling it at a pretty high price. So you could come into the market at a cheaper price if you were to sell this type of product. So going back to Alibaba, we could see that there are different suppliers that sell different types of these dryer sheet holders. Um, but that top seller was selling this kind of style. You could get like a wooden lid. You can make it say something different on the front. You could have two different containers for the laundry room. Think about what else goes in the laundry room with lint sheets, maybe Tide Pod holders, a different tin for those. Um, so you have to get creative in coming up with a different way of adding value to the product that is already in the market. Um, if I was to sell this type of product, I would either change the font or change what it says on the front of the tin. Um, maybe change the style like the lid could be like a wooden lid that's like a popular design um, and those are just a couple ways of thinking about how you could differentiate a product another cool thing is with this type of product you could probably make a TikTok video and it could go viral people like these organizing videos on TikTok or instagram and it gets people motivated to organize their own stuff and then they buy that product so always think about the market for this type of product you could sell it on etsy because it's home decor um, you could do some cheap advertising, get some influencers that post about home decor or farmhouse homes to post about this product, and it could do pretty well. Now, obviously, we can't guarantee that the product would do well, um, and I'm not launching this product because I don't have time right now because of my business. We just bought a house. We are moving soon. But if I didn't share this with all of you, I probably would have tried this product out with a couple different designs. It is pretty cheap, so you're not going to take a high risk. Um, again, they're around $4 to manufacture with shipping. Who knows? They aren't that big of a product. They just fit those lint sheets, so it's pretty small. Um, but yeah, those are a couple ways of thinking of how you can differentiate a product, thinking about the market, seeing what's out there. But the main point of the video was just using this new tool inside of Helium 10 that they added. Um, there's many different ways on finding products. I have a bunch of different methods in my program. But this is a new way of finding a potential phrase or product that could lead to a good product that could sell on Amazon. Um, so all you have to do is just go to Helium 10, their main site right here. And then you literally just keep clicking right here and it's going to pull up different trends. And then once you find a potential trend, again, this is pulling data from Etsy. So you're going to find like a lot of different food, different recipes. It's not always products. But like I showed you before, that last keyword that I found led to that lint sheet holder uh, but let's see if i can find one more just by clicking in here it's kind of fun you never know what's going to pop up courthouse wedding um, birthday ideas bathroom renovation ideas again and you could pull up these different trends and see what is pulling up in pictures on pinterest uh, but this is like felt crafts so i'll open it on pinterest to see what those are we could see that it's been trending pretty stable. It had a little drop off, but there were still people looking for this type of keyword or products on Pinterest. And then if we come down here, we could see like what the different products are. So it's like little felt flowers, Christmas lights, more flowers. Uh, but let's actually see if people are actually buying this type of stuff on Amazon. You always want to check that because that's the marketplace you are going to sell in. So again, I'm going to pull up the Chrome extension, the demand analyzer, which is right here. And then we could see if people are actually searching felt crafts on Amazon. So we can see that there was a recent spike in demand. Actually, it's been falling off for this specific keyword. But right here, we could see felt sheets for crafts. Craft felt has 2300 monthly searches. And it's going to pull up all the different types of products right here. And then if you want to pull them up in black box, all you do is just click right here to see all top products. It's going to pull them up in the niche tab inside of black box, which is right here. And then it's going to pull up all of the related products related to those felt craft, um, that felt craft keyword. So we can see it's all these different build your own cupcake out of felt. Um, but yeah, that's just a basic rundown. So it's really easy to use. Again, if you don't have Helium 10, I have a link down below. Uh, but that is pretty much it. I just wanted to show you guys this new feature because you never know what it could lead to. It could get you that winning product. There's always many, there's many different ways on finding products. So I like to share these different techniques. And this is one technique on how I found that lint sheet holder that is doing over $25,000 a month in sales with under 100 reviews. All right, guys, that is it for this video. All of my links are down below. If you want to join my Facebook community, it's completely free. Again, I do have a complete step-by-step -step program down below. I offer coaching. Everything is linked down below in the video. If you have not already, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you can stay updated with new videos like this. But that is all for now. I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.